Hi everyone, welcome to another screencast on Marlang. I know it's been ages but I still don't have a computer to work with. Uh, today we're going to basically install Erlang plugin using IntelliJ IDEA, download and open GitHub codes. This will allow anyone to be able to follow my previous tutorials with a working example. So this tutorial will basically allow you to go to my GitHub page and download any of my source code and you will know how to load them up using this screencast. We're going to do three things at first, which is download the latest Erlang, Erlang build and install IntelliJ IDEA and create our, an Erlang folder. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is basically download the latest version of Erlang. So we go to the Erlang download link. And because I'm using a 64 bit operating system, I'll download the 64 bit version. And that's downloading there. The next step is to download IntelliJ IDEA. and we go for the community edition and that's been downloaded and we just simply minimize and wait till they're done the final part is simply to create an Erlang folder that we're going to put our project in so we're going to call it Erlang project now we simply wait for the download to finish and we towards the installation. After downloading the application you simply go into your download folder and the first thing we're going to install is the latest version of Erlang so double click and install. After that installation is complete we simply install IntelliJ IDEA. After installation we simply click on finish. The next part is simply to launch IntelliJ IDEA and install the Erlang plugin. Now we just go down to configure, configure plugins, um, select browse repository, and we type in Erlang. And we find Erlang here, and we simply select install plugin. Yes. After that, we close, restart. The next step now is simply to install the Erlang SDK. So what we need to do first of all is to create a new project and we select Erlang and next. Right here, since I've done this before, I actually have an Erlang SDK connected but just in case you have an SDK you don't want and you want to remove it, what you do is simply you cancel, you go down to configuration, you select uh, project defaults and you go to project structure. In here we go to the SDK area and we simply select the Erlang 17 and we remove it. We select OK and we just go back so I can show the steps again. So we create a new project, select Erlang, next, configure, uh, we look for the Erlang directory which is going to be in program files if you're using Windows and it's going to be ERL 6.0 which is the latest one and we click on next. Now back to creating a simple application what we're going to do now just to test everything and make sure everything is working is to create an hello world application so what we want to do is create a folder in the desktop uh, we're going to call this folder hello world this folder is going to contain the project information source files and everything that comes with our project and now we have the project name as hello world and the uh, project location and we have the project SDK so now we can finish so what you want to do first of all is either double click hello world to show up this project view 
and we drop down the project folder we have the dot idea source code and the dot iml file so what we want to do is to create a new erlang file an empty module and we're going to call it main select ok and we should get a main file um, for this tutorial I just want to get rid of all this so we have the module which is the main module we have the author and we have export now let's create a function which we're going to call print hello world and it takes no argument and what we want to do is to call the IO format if you press control space um, IntelliSense for IO or every API contained in IO will show up so IO format and we're going to simply say hello world squiggle n to signify next line so it's going to be hello world next line ok and we pull our period sign here before we finish we need to export this function the print world function and it takes zero argument or parameters and we save again the next step is basically we select run is to edit the configuration and we had an airline console um, let's just call this hello world underscore console and we don't have any shell argument this is the working directory perfect um, called path um, it's going to go with the default which is going to be the main and ok perfect now next step after that is basically to compile our main.erl or reboot project either way we get the same thing so right here under we should get compilation completed successfully within five seconds so now we're ready to call our function what we do is we click on the run and you should get everything compiling right here we see that we're connected to the ERL folder we also have the path to our hello world folder dash PA um, so what we want to do is to call the, um, the module which is main module and the function which is print hello world and the period and we select enter and we get hello world okay so that's basically a simple hello world application final part of this tutorial is basically to import a project let's just say I uploaded a, pro a project to github and how would you go about importing that project um, so let's just say you've downloaded a project from github and uh, let's use hello world .zip as an example uh, it's only going to contain uh, let's say if I click on the hello world folder it's only going to contain the hello world.iml source and dot idea I'll just show you now so let's just say I copied the folder over for example um, source will be there app will be deleted and according to the documentation workspace will be gone and task.xml would be gone as well so should be okay should be okay should be okay you can delete the dictionary I can go as well uh, and it might also include readme.md and that's that so you just put the project into the Erlang project or any folder you want and then we select import project we go down to the directory which is going to be the desktop and Erlang project and you select the folder hello world click ok you go with the default which is create a project from existing sources next the project name hello world you can rename it if you want um, already has the idea would you like to overwrite it yes and yes hello world next and you select your SDK next uh, several finish and it should load you up with the project view so it's going to load it's going to load it's here and if we drop this down we shall have the source hello world.iml and 
the idea. Um, if we right click the hello world folder, we can go to module settings uh, just to specify that source is the source. So we right click on it, it's the source, it's the K, everything is all right. Perfect. So we have the idea, and that's the source, which is the root. So OK. And we continue. We check out the, the main the ERL. Everything looks normal. Then next step is basically to go to run, edit configuration. We want to add airline console. Hello world on for console. And we select OK. And right here, there's a signal that it's ready to go. But before we do that, we need to compile main.arl or rebuild project. And we simply wait for it to be done. It's done. And we simply select run. And we're back to the main thing again. So main uh, control z print hello world dot and enter. And we get hello world. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, my computer is currently <laughs> out of work. I'm, I'm trying to save for a MacBook Pro. So if anyone is willing to donate anything, I'll put a PayPal link below. Um, I'll try my best to start writing some code and putting it on my GitHub. I'm going to put a link below with my GitHub account so you can free to download i won't start to next week because i'm swamped with work at the moment but feel free to contribute however you want and be safe till next time